Hello, this is Michelle Knight. Welcome to your weekly astrology. This week, we have big, intense astrological news as we have the solar eclipse in Cancer. We also have Mercury retrograde. No, no, I hear you cry. But there's really good news as we have the North Node and the Sun delivering us a message about our future. Here's your weekly astrology. Hello Capricorn, my goodness, you have gone through a hell of a year, a hella hella hella, a lot of things have happened to you, not just external things and literal things, but also there's been such an internal shift for you and how you view life and how you view relationships and how you view what's valuable for you and what's important to you and moments where you thought, my God, am I going to survive this and other moments where you thought, wow, I'm going to be liberated into a brand new world. And actually that liberation that you sense somewhere within you is coming. But this week, I'll be honest with you, is tricky. We have Mercury retrograde in your relationship zone. We have the sun going into your relationship zone. We have a solar eclipse in your relationship zone. And we have a new moon in your relationship zone. So it's packed full of potential for changes, rebirths and transformations when it comes to love. But it's, you know, there are also a chance of misunderstandings and a solar eclipse is like, we, we, you're going to see your relationships differently. If, if you are in a relationship, you're likely to see that relationship differently after this big shift of energy. But to be honest with you, certainly if you've been with someone for a while, the past six months, all of your intimate relationships have profoundly changed. And some people you will feel much closer to you to, other people you will realise you don't necessarily want in your life. And that is coming to a head with this eclipse. Won't happen straight away because the thing about eclipses is they reveal the information later on. Later on, it's not like instant. It's not like oh, oh, here's the answer. Sometimes, but even so, there's always more to be revealed. We're looking through a shimmery fog at the moment, and yet we're sensing something. It's almost like a lighthouse. We're seeing the lights go round, but we can't quite see our surroundings. And be careful of them rocks. So when it comes to all your intimate relationships. Just be very aware that there's intense energy around your love life and your relationships. If you're not in a relationship, you're gonna, there are changes going on within you to form more intimate relationships and to shift something, again, that's deeply profound. It's very, very full on. And solar eclipses are, are quite triggering. They're like, whoa, you know, it, it, it momentarily takes away our identity, our, our identity, of, in your case, who you are in relationships. Or who someone else is in a relationship. We see things differently once we come through it. Now, the good news for you is we have the Sun and the North Node awakening you to who you're going to be in the future, what kind of work and what you're passionately working on in the future, and your health and well-being. And it's, it's showing you how you can transform your areas of, of personal patterns and health and well-being to be empowered and to grow. So look out for that message. And if there's any patterns you can start to change this week, do it because it is so going to pay off in the future. Um, I'm just going to do the tarot because it's backed by popular demand. If you're not into it, I will see you next week. Don't worry about it. And if you are into it, use your intuition. Hopefully there's something here that will inspire you or make you feel good. Okay. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Look out, or well, actually, it may be that you're feeling quite emotional this week and you're, you're getting in touch with your feelings or you're around someone that's very emotional or is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. You are starting a project in some way. You're digging foundations. You, you, you want your life to be secure and you want to lay those foundations well and you are doing good work. So you're on the right track. There may be a spurt of energy. Now, I always say about the chariot, our thoughts and our mind is the petrol for the chariot and where we're going. But if there's a sudden surge of energy this week, you've got to make sure that you're emotionally able to keep up. Things are going to start happening because you've laid solid foundations. But emotionally, because of the nature of the week, you may be still going through an emotional passage. But you know what? You're going to do it. You've got to switch into that, that part of you that trusts the process, that trusts that you can leap into a situation and you know, you're one of the strongest signs and that you could be the emperor if need be. You could be strong enough to experience what's going on, um, even though you're going through some stuff. Anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed that. Come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hi, gorgeous. Before you go, check out my new film on my fabulous psychics. A lot of people ask me for readings. I don't do them anymore, but for over 20 years, I've had an award-winning team of psychics that I truly handpick. So check out the film, let me know what you think. The purpose of a reading, I feel, is very much to inspire people and to empower people. It's about hope. It's about guidance. Using a phone or being with you, it will be the same because the matter is spiritual. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them. So it was a psychic reading. I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself giving that, it's actually coming from spirit. And it is a bit like a three-way conversation. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me, and I've got another voice that's telling me things. I even shock myself, things that I come up with, and I think, how did I, I get that? I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. My priority is to connect to your truth and have the best life that you can have. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. You need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. I will make sure when the reading is finished that you're happy with everything. I, I couldn't do anything else. It's, it's, it's part of who I am. It's what I came here for, obviously. And when they come back and tell you they've got their dream job or the love of their life, that really makes me feel like I'm valued. I love to hear a sigh of relief. A lot of weight has been lifted off their shoulders. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. Everything begins and ends with you.